practicing you lots, uh, but we wanted to send some stuff out for you guys to be practicing at home. So we're gonna start with our, this is our first video. We're gonna start with some stretching because you know how important that is. And we hope that you guys can do some stretching at home. Make sure that you have a good open area. Big space, you don't run into things. And you can use a mat, maybe if somebody in your family has a yoga mat or even a blanket, something that's soft or just using the carpet is good too. So let's get started with our stretch. All right, so first we're gonna do our pike stretch. So some of you kiddos should know a pike means that we're going to sit with our feet and legs together and our legs straight. So we're gonna sit up tall, no slouching like this. Nope, nope, nope. Sit up tall and we're gonna point our toes and flex our feet. Point and flex. Up and down. We can do about 10, right, Cortana? That's a probably a good number. I mean, seven is my favorite number, but 10 works too. Mm -hmm. I lost count though. So let's point one and flex the other one. Up and down. Good job, guys. Some of our kiddos already practiced this at home, but already, but now you can do it with us. Yay. All right, so we're gonna point both of our feet. We're gonna reach our arms up tall and reach as far as you can. Remember, keep those legs nice and straight. No bending your legs. No nope. count. Yeah. It's okay if you can't reach your toes. Just make sure your legs are straight, even if you're just reaching a little bit. The most important part is that you're keeping your legs straight. There we go. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Excellent right. job. What's next, Miss Meg? We're gonna work on our straddles. So everybody remember your straddle, you're gonna take your feet apart. apart. Very good. So again, we're gonna make sure our legs are nice and straight. We're gonna make as big as a straddle as you can without bending your legs. Also making sure that those toes stay pointed and beautiful. All right, so we're gonna reach our hands up tall and we're gonna reach to one foot. Like Miss Meg said earlier, if you can't reach all the way to your foot, that's okay. Just reach as far as you can without bending your legs. No bent legs. All right, and you're gonna hold that again. Miss Meg, would you like to count to 10? Yes, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then we're gonna reach up tall and to the other foot. One, two, three, This last one in the straddle and sitting in the straddle could be fun if you do it with a friend or a grown up or maybe a brother or a sister. Um, but we're gonna reach our hands to the middle and you guys can reach to each other and see who can reach as far as you can. Oh, oh my goodness. Way to go back and forth. If you don't have a friend to do it with you, you can just reach and hold for 10 seconds. Good job guys. All right, this next one is the hardest one. So, we're gonna stand on up. All right, we're gonna put our feet apart and we're gonna slide into what we call our middle split. So we're gonna reach our feet apart as far as you can. Hands go down, keep putting those feet all the way apart and your elbows are gonna go down. Remember, keep those legs nice and straight. Good job, Coach Anna. Way to go. Hold it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Awesome. Good job, friends. Way to go. All right, what's next, Miss Meg? Let's work on some splits. So, I think everybody knows that we start on our pre split. So, yes. we're going to go up on our knees. We're gonna put one foot in front. Make sure it's nice and straight. So don't want your foot all the way up here. We're gonna put your foot straight in front of you. Yep. And I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna turn sideways so you know that you are gonna make sure that your bottom knee stays up tall. You're still sitting up tall and only one foot is out in front. All right, so once your leg is straight and in front of you, we're going to move our nose to our knee without moving our foot. So we're just gonna lean forward as far as you can. If you can't reach your knee, that's okay. Just make sure you're keeping that front leg nice and straight. We're gonna count to five. One, two, three, four, five. And we're not gonna move any feet. We're just gonna bend our front leg. 
into a nice big, what is this called? Lunge! All lunge, you knew that. All right, we're gonna count again to five. One, two, three, four, five. Now, this is when our foot moves. So our front leg or our back leg is gonna slide forward. We're gonna slide as far as you can, and we're gonna hold it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Awesome. Good all job, right. friends. Woo. Is that all? Are we done with splits? Nope. We have to do the other leg. What? Okay. All right. So again, we're going to go up big and tall on our knees. We're going to put one foot in front and we're going to make sure it's nice and straight. It's in front of us, not out to the side. And we're going to move our nose forward. Keeping that leg straight. One, two, three, four, five. Bend the front knee. Nice big lunge, everybody. So in our lunge, we're going to make sure that our toe is not like this, but our foot is in front of our knee. Nice big lunge. One, two, three, four, five. All right. We're going to slide on in one more time. There we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten. Awesome job, guys. Good job, friends. You're doing Way awesome. To go. I'm very excited to see who practices their um, splits and who can get a little bit lower than last time. That's awesome. All right. What's next, Miss Meg? Bridges. Woo -woo! Everybody's favorite. All right. So it's very important first to do your bridge. We're going to stretch out our wrists a little bit first. So we're going to go up on our knees. And we're going to rock back and forth. Moving your hands all different ways to really stretch out those wrists. You can rock side to side, back and forth, just making sure that we're moving and grooving that wrist all the different ways. Awesome, way to go. All right, now Miss Meg is gonna show us what our bridges look like. So at home, you can do as many of these as you would like. We usually do three here at Tech 37, but today we're going to do, Miss Meg's gonna show you one, and then you guys can do as many as you would like. All right, so first you're gonna um, uh, make sure you're sitting in a tuck. That's right. Then you're gonna lay all the way back on the ground, making sure that your back is all the way flat. We're gonna put our hands by our ears and we're gonna push up into a bridge, trying to get those arms super straight, your legs straight. Miss Meg even has her legs together. That's great. You're gonna hold this for 10 seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten. Come on down. That's awesome. So, like I said, you can do this bridge as many times as you would like to. Um, after each bridge, you can either tuck and roll three times, which we like to do here. So, you're going to tuck and roll. Trying to get all the way back up. Tuck and roll. One more time. Tuck and roll. Way to go, Coach Meg. <laughs> um, you can also do what we call our candlesticks after our bridges. So if uh, you'd like to do a candlestick, I'm going to show you. Coach Anna's going to do the candlestick. <laughs> so candlestick, what am I doing, Miss Meg? So you're going to rock back. You're going to lift your toes. You're trying to make a straight, straight line in your candlestick. You want to look like a stick. And hold it. One, two, three. Roll back down. Whoa. Very good. All right, friends, we hope that you are stretching every day, working on each of these skills at home. Make sure, of course, that you're being safe and washing those hands. We'll see you soon. We Bye. love you. Bye.